Welcome to Happy Souls. This is the second session of HAV. When your big toe abducts to the side and you get an inflammation of the joint of the bursa, it's known as a bunion. These exercises are very useful and can be very helpful. We know that sometimes it's an inherent problem but sometimes it's caused by ill-fitting footwear and trauma. And so you can do an awful lot to help yourself. Learn to love your feet. If in doubt, consult a podiatrist. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to start by placing your foot onto a chair. Okay? And holding on to the big toe, I'm going to demonstrate it with this hand because obviously you'll see a little bit better what I'm doing. So holding the base of the big toe like that with your fingers, two fingers, we're going to lift. Now you may find at first that you can't lift very high. Just put a little bit of pressure on and lift and hold. One, two, three, four and five. Release and lift up. One, two, three, four, five, release. Lift up, gently pulling, one, two, three, four, five, release. Now make sure your other toes stay down as much as possible. Lifting up, one, two, three, four, five, release. One more time, lifting up, one, two, three, four, five and release okay now you release that and place your hand over the other four toes okay and you're going to take hold of your big toe and draw it outwards away push your other toes into the chair and lift away one two three four five release and again lift away one two three four five Release, and again, lift away. One, two, three, four, five, release. Two more, lift away. One, two, three, four, five, release. Once more. One, two, three, four, five, and release. Good. Now, with your fingers, just gently, with the forefinger and the middle finger, just of each hand, go between the bones of the foot and just gently pressure and massage between the bones of the big toe and the first toe and then the other toes. Just feel where all the bones are. Massage and don't be frightened to put a little bit of pressure on those bones. And then again, press it deeply. Okay. Absolutely. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to, to just come over to this side and bring the other foot up now. And place your foot on the chair, okay? And keep your toes down if possible. And then just lifting your big toe up. We're going to do a stretch. Now, the thing is that it may be quite painful at first, but don't overstretch. Just, just go to the point of, of where you can feel that stretch. And you're going to lift that big toe up. So I'm, I'm going to demonstrate with my hand like this so you can see what I'm doing. You see the foot, is the arched foot's good. And we gently lift up, look, stretch. One, two, three, four, five, release. Lift up. One, two, three, four, five, release. Pull up. One, two, three, four, Five, release. Again, pull up. One, two, three, four, five, release. And the last time, pull up. One, two, three, four, five, release. And you really feel that stretch into all of those joints. Placing them, same hand, on the four toes. Take your other hand like that. I don't know if you can see. You can see probably if I do it this way. And we're going to stretch that toe. We're going to draw the toe back to the medial line. We're going to bring it back. So 
it's not abducting away, abducting away. So it's coming back. You ready? Pulling gently. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Pull. One, two, three, four. See the space between the toes. Release. And again, pull. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Release. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. And release. And you should really feel that. Now, look at the bones of your foot. You're going to go between, in the soft tissue, between the bones. Okay? So you can use both hands at the same time and deeply massage, pressuring. And you will feel this go right up onto the top of the foot. Quite deep pressuring. You'll start to increase your circulatory flow as you do this. And the last time, quite deeply wonderful. Okay, right, having done those movements, we're now going to circle. Now, go on to the, the ball joint of that big toe and hold on to your chair because you want to put the pressure onto the big toe and you want to circle inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The other way, outwards. One, two, three. It's hard to do. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The way to think about it is think of your knee making a circle. That will help you. But don't take the pressure off the metatarsal area or off the toes. Try the other side. Right up. Heels got to be raised right up and rotate that knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten excellent well done okay so now at this point what we're going to do i'm going to get the ball and i'll use this nice blue ball this time and once again what we're going to do is put the pressure onto the metatarsal area so you're going to grip 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 one and release two release three release four release Five, release. Six, you've really got to concentrate on this. Seven, release. Eight, release. Nine, release. Ten, release. Good. Change over. Pressure on. And press down. One, grip. Release. Two, release. Three, release. Four, release. Five, release. Six, release. Seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Well done. Okay. Okay. Now the next movement that we're going to do is called banning. In other words, like you can see how you can do that with your fingers. We try to aim to do that with our toes. So lifting up. It's, it's hard to do because you've really got to concentrate. Lifting up your toes like that. Now fan them out and hold the little toe as far away from the big toe as you can, like that fanning. Feel that, keep stretching out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release now and curl your toes in to dome them. And release again. Now bring the toes up. Now separate them, you should be able to see spaces. If you can't see the space, just stretch the toe out a little bit. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Keep stretching. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Curling, doming. You can do this with your hands at the same time. The brain actually, it helps to send that message 
through your nervous system to your toes so that awareness, the afferent and efferent nerve channels will start to wake up. Okay, we're going to try again. Release, release, lift. Do it with your fingers. Separate. Now look at your toes. Separate. Spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep stretching. Ten. Dome. Release. Now pull up underneath the metatarsal. You're pulling up. The plantar is contracting. Okay. Two more sets. Release. Release. Let relax it. Now lift your toes up. Now fan the toes out. Is the space? I've got one here that doesn't space very well. I've got to work on that one. Okay. And one. It's funny. It's a ring finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grip and dome. That's a doming. You should be able to get your hand underneath the arch of the foot quite easily. It will strengthen your feet. Release. And the last time, push your heels into them, the ground and then separate. Separate, separate your fingers. Separate, keep going, keep going, keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't let it go. Nine and ten and release now shake 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 okay all right on the uh you're gonna get a ball i'm going to get two i've got another one here they don't match but it doesn't matter under the foot we're going to roll if i can keep control over them we're going to roll both feet on the ball the balls and they've got little nodules on them that help to relax the feet and also increase your circulation. So go underneath the arches now of both feet. Very good, okay. Release those, let them go. And the last part of our, our ankle rotation is very important if you are suffering with any problems with your feet of balance particularly, um, that your ankles are um, flexible, you know, because a lot of people can't even rotate the ankles. So you start off slowly, you do what you can. Separate your feet, hold on to your chair. Rotation outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The ankles are sliding joints. Just imagine the joints sliding over each other. Inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should be feeling it now. Nine and ten. Inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Both in the same direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's quite difficult, isn't it, to get that full circle? Do it one more time. Outwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower your feet down, okay? Bringing your left foot forwards, push your heel away. Really stretch the Achilles tendon. Now we're going to point and raise. Are you ready? One and up and two and up and three and up and four and five and up and six and seven and eight and nine and up and ten. The other side, pushing the heel away. Lock your knee. Are you ready? One and up and two and three and four and five and up and six and seven and eight, and nine, and up, and ten. Feel the foot. Down, and up, and two, 
and three and four and five and up and six and seven and eight and nine and up and ten. The other side, you ready? Push that heel away. One and up and two and three and four and five and up and six and seven and eight and nine and up and ten. Good. Raising up, hold on to the side of the chair, raising up onto the balls of the feet and pressing into your toes. Push one and just lift yourself if you can off the chair a little bit and down and two and down. You don't have to lift if you don't want to. Just press into the feet, down, four and down and five and down. Good, pushing the heels into the mat, lifting up and down, two, down. Three, keep pulling your toes up towards your four and five. Excellent, well done. Tapping. Give them a good tap, get circulation moving. Tap your thighs, tap your legs, tap your feet, back to the legs, right up again. There you go, well done. I hope you enjoyed that.